What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. Once again, another comparison, but this time between the Galaxy Note 10 and the iPhone 10R. Now, in my opinion, this is exactly where the iPhone 10R and the Note 10 kind of align. They're very similar phones. I feel like at the core of it, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 should have been the same price as the iPhone 10 or that's 750. I don't think this is a thousand dollar phone in my opinion. I think it's a very good phone, but for the price they're asking for, I don't think it's, you know, it'd be very reasonable in my opinion. I think the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which I have here, I think this is a better value per dollar which is only like $100 more than this phone and a very good phone, like one of the best phones I think I've ever had. But I feel like the Note 10 where it's at now, I feel like, I don't know, they could have done a better job at it in terms of the price. But what's interesting though is that we're about to get the new replacement of the iPhone XR pretty soon. And as of right now, when you go into the Apple store, you go to Best Buy or whatever, usually these phones are some of the newest phones they have there. You know, the iPhone XR at 750, the Note 10 at 950. And in terms of the way they feel, I will definitely tell you these last comparisons I've been saying, they all feel kind of the same. The Note 10 definitely feels more premium in my opinion. They both don't have headphone decks. They have a lightning on the iPhone XR, USB Type-C on the Note 10. But in terms of the way they feel, I mean, the one thing that I've noticed on the sides is that yes, for a fact, the Note 10 feels more thinner and it actually might be a little bit more thinner than the iPhone XR. But the thing is, is that on the chassis of the iPhone XR, it definitely feels very, very budget. It feels like the, I don't even know, like a Samsung Galaxy S6, not even like a, yeah, like a Samsung Galaxy S6 type feel on the side. It doesn't have that texture that the iPhone XR has and especially not the texture that the Note 10 has. So in terms of the build quality, I will probably give the edge to the Note 10. It feels way more premium. They both have glass on the front and on the back, but it's on the side that kind of makes a difference. On the Note 10, you can see the screen kind of bleeds on the sides right there. So it gives the appearance that it is a little bit thinner, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. You can see maybe they're almost the same. I don't really feel the thickness when it's on top, but on the sides, you can definitely see that the Note 10 does kind of have that tapered edge, which I like a lot. On the front, we actually have somewhat similar screens. I mean, the screens are completely different, but similar size, I would say. On the Note 10, we have a 6.3 inch dynamic AMOLED display. This one is 1080p. You have 401 pixels per inch. Where on the iPhone XR, you have a 6.1 inch IPS panel. It's an LCD. And this one has 326 pixels per inch. And this is what I'll definitely tell you. The iPhone XR's panel is okay, but it's definitely not as good as the Note 10's panel. This one, this panel is much, much better in my opinion. I feel like Samsung could have done a 1440p panel on this. I honestly don't know why they stuck to 1080p, especially since they haven't done a 1080p panel on a Note since the Note 3, which was many, many years ago, but I guess it's whatever. They're not going to go and change these to 1440p anymore. The 10 Plus has a 1440p display, but that pretty much covers up everything on the outside. Obviously, the biggest difference on the outside would definitely be the notch on the iPhone XR and the hole punch display on the Note 10. And honestly, at the core of it, I definitely do think the Note 10's display does look better. I feel like with the uh, iPhone or next year's iPhone, what they're saying, I definitely do think they're actually going to remove the notch but as of right now the notch i mean is here to stay for the 10r and the note 10's display does look better and it also has a whole punch display which is less bezel around it so i definitely do like that and even just love talking about the bezel you have less bezel on the note 10 than you do on the iphone 10r the iphone 10r has a lot more bezel on around even on the screen which is pretty surprising looking on the back we have a triple camera setup on the samsung galaxy note 10 if you can even see that and a single camera setup on the iPhone XR. Now I'll get into the specs and everything about these cameras later on in this video, but I'm gonna make a whole separate video talking about the cameras on both of these phones. So keep it locked down. I know I say that in every video, but just keep it locked down in a minute for the channel. I'll go ahead and get this out as soon as possible. <laughs> so that pretty much covers up everything on the outside. Let's go ahead and talk about software for a second. And this is where the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 kind of lacks in for now, but where the iPhone XR really does actually kind of is a strong suit with iOS. So right now, this one is on iOS 13, actually, which you might not even believe, but I am on the beta. <laughs> If you go here, you can see I can click dark mode if I want to, where on the Note 10, you actually have Android Pie, which is really good. This one is on one UI. And what I'll definitely tell you is I, you're going to have a couple more years of support on the Note 10. And this is not going anywhere anytime soon. But the iPhone XR, even though it is an older device, it's probably still going to outlast the Note 10 in terms of stock software support. However, you will have a root for the Note 10 eventually and custom ROM support as well. So don't really take it as like a huge disgrace or like a huge problem. <laughs> eventually, once more custom ROMs come out, I think more and more people are going to be comfortable rooting and roaming their phones. I'm not forcing you to do it or whatever, but usually when I get a phone that's super outdated, I tend to go and root it and ROM it just because it does add that much more functionality to a device. But as of right now, they're both going to get software support, but I do think the iPhone XR is definitely going to outlast the Galaxy Note 10 in terms of stock software support. But like I said, custom ROMs, you have that capability on an Android device, but you do not have that on an iPhone. So kind of a quick thing to know, but I think it's whatever. <laughs> Now that kind of covers up the hardware, software on the outside, everything like that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a speed comparison between these, but I'll go ahead and tell you the specs between both these phones. The iPhone XR has the Apple A12 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU, and three gigs of RAM on all the variants. There's three different variants of this phone. On the Galaxy Note 10, you have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, which is the latest chipset, an octa-core CPU, an Adreno 640 GPU, and eight gigs of RAM. There's only one variant of this phone. Now I have mostly all the same apps on both of these devices, so let's go ahead and see which one is the faster device between both of these. Now let's go ahead and clear out all these apps in the background. I think I do have a lot on both of these devices. One cool thing I like about Androids is that you can just close all right there, where on the iOS you still have to single-handedly clear each one out. Now let's go ahead and load up some of these apps. Let's go ahead and do Twitter, three, two, one. And the Note 10, I think the Note 10 is probably going to win every single comparison. It is a very fast phone. Let's do Bofa, three, two, one. As you see, the Note 10 again, just almost immediately, I would say the iPhone XR took an additional couple minutes to a couple seconds, not, not, not minutes, but let's do Totem 3, 2, 1. Now, for some reason, I always get like problems with this specific game, so I don't know if it's going to go through, but you can even see the loading screen was fa actually faster on here, but this one loaded up faster, which is weird. I was not expecting that, but it could be something in the back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain this. The Note 10 was actually slower on this game than the iPhone XR, which I don't know. Like I said, this game is really weird all over the place. Let's do thank you. Three, two, one. And as you can see, we did get into it faster on the Note 10. Eventually, we did get into it on the iPhone XR. Let's go and see if there's a difference. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a single difference between this game because it's not that graphically intensive. Let's do snake versus blocks. Three, two, one. And again, you can see the Note 10 got into it faster. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. Usually there might be some stuttering in the beginning with, uh, especially when the app or the ad is loaded on the bottom. And as you can see, I died, but there really wasn't too much of a difference in this game. Let's do stack, three, two, one. And this one did have a little bit of a pop-up, so we're just gonna go ahead and redo that one. And this game, I mean, the, we keep getting these Google Play games things up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip these. There's, there's too many issues. Let's do temple run, three, two, one. As you can see, we're just flying into it on the iPhone, on the Note 10. Eventually, we're gonna have to redo this one though. <laughs> three, two, one. And on the Note 10, we did get into it, but there really wasn't that crazy of a difference, if I'm being honest. Uh, there was a little bit of a difference, but not as much as you guys might think. So that kind of covers that one. <laughs> There's really, I mean, this is a very basic game. Let's do Paper IO2, three, two, one. And these phones have been sliding everywhere literally all day. And we got into it a little bit faster on the Note 10. Let's go ahead and kind of load this game up. I don't think there's going to be that crazy of a difference. They're both kind of the same in my opinion. But there could be a case where one glitches up more often. No, they're both, they were both pretty much the same in my opinion as well. It's Fru Ninja, three, two, one. And actually the Note or the iPhone XR actually got into it faster. We have a different menu on the iPhone XR. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's an update or something. So now that we have all those apps loaded, let's go ahead and get into some RAM management. Let's go all the way back. Let's see if any of them restart, which I don't know if they will. I mean, again, the iPhone XR has three gigs of RAM. The Note 10 has a little bit. Oh, as you can see, I think this one actually might've restarted. Eight gigs of RAM, let's do Tomb. But like we all know, I mean, iOS takes a little bit less RAM to run than the Note 10 or Android devices. As you can see on this game, we actually did get a restart on the iPhone XR. Was not expecting that, but that seems to be the case. Snake versus blocks, we seem to be okay with. Stack actually restarted here as well. I don't know if it restarted here. I don't I don't think so because we never really played the game to begin with. Temple run, and it did restart on the iPhone XR. As you can see, we're getting many restarts on the iPhone XR, where on the Note 10, we're not really getting that. So in my opinion, it is kind of a big deal. You know, when you're having these many apps and when you want to multitask constantly back and forth, you don't want to lose your data or lose your spot in your game or whatever. So that's a pretty big deal in my opinion. So the Note 10 definitely is not only a speedier phone, but has better RAM management skills and just more RAM overall, which is really awesome. Now hitting on the cameras really quick. Now, like I said, we're going to do it very, very quickly. This is not a full comparison. The iPhone XR has a 12 megapixel sensor, a single sensor, and I like iPhone cameras. I think it's good. I think even the iPhone XR's camera is not that bad, but the Note 10's camera is the better one in my opinion. You have two 12 megapixel sensors and a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And not only are the physical cameras better in my opinion, but the software is better and more enhanced for a mobile platform than iOS. I feel like Apple could do so much better on their iPhones. The hardware is great, but their software is very lackluster. So between both of these, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, in my opinion, does have the better cameras. And ending it off with the battery life, actually. 
The iPhone 10, the iPhone 10R has a 2,942 milliamp hour battery. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 has a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. And so far, what I've tested, I'll be completely honest, I kind of think that the iPhone 10R has the better battery life, which might be surprising. But I do think you have cooler features on the Note 10. You have reverse wireless charging. You have wireless charging on both of these, but that reverse wireless charging is really cool. And I think the iPhone 10R might have the better battery life because one, it's a little bit less powerful as the Note 10, but also the screen. You have a smaller screen, but also a lower resolution screen, which has a lot to do with it. And iOS doesn't really take as much battery, I would say, as Android. So, so I think that's a pretty big difference. That's an ex explanation right there. But you do have super cool features with the Note 10. You know, you have that reverse wireless charging, a better screen, the S Pen, the better cameras here, you know, and even if the software support is better on the iPhone 10 or on all those things, like for a brand new pricing, I think the Note 10 is the better price there and price and better value per dollar than the iPhone 10R, but I just don't think it's worth a thousand. I think maybe it's like a hundred dollars more of a value than the iPhone 10R, but definitely not 200 in my opinion. But between both of these, I would probably tell you to wait a little bit longer to buy any of these. Wait until the iPhone 11 comes out. By then the prices of used iPhone 10Rs will go down, but also the Note 10 prices in the used market will also go down since there's going to be a ton of them available in the used market. So that's kind of where my opinion is. I think the Note 10 is the better phone here. Is it a hundred times better? No, if the Note 10 was like a 10 out of 10, the iPhone 10R is probably like a 9 out of 10 or like 8.5 maybe. It's critical in a few things here and there, but it's not as crazy as you might think. So that's pretty much my opinion. That's what I'm thinking. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll find the cheapest Note 10s and iPhone 10Rs that I can find on Amazon, and I'll link them straight down in the description below so you guys can get it from there. But that is pretty much it. Like I said, if you have any other questions or anything, leave them down. I'm reading the comments sometimes. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discounts. So it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. But hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.